But here we are on a beautiful Monday morning eating some bunny tanlam. Okay, so if you guys haven't heard, the coronavirus has hit us hard in Vietnam. And this is your weekly news report with expats in Ho Chi Minh City. Once again, Vietnam was affected by the coronavirus. Business owners being affected, restaurant owners being affected, farmers and teachers like this one. And there's a teddy bear wearing a mask. Uh, let's move on. Farmers not being able to sell their watermelons and selling it at four to six thousand dong per kilogram. That's insane. And there's a cute little kid. Needless to say, a very smart baker decided to save the nom young. He decided to include it in our bun. Me. How genius is that? That is absolutely homemade. Okay, so we're gonna do a little taste test of what dragon fruit bread actually tastes like. Um, I'm not too sure how I feel about that. Dragon fruit and bread together, like me, that just tastes like. Uh, apparently, it's really long, and I'm gonna give it a try. So we're gonna start with a plain one, and that is the. Oh look, I'm a I'm a makeup guru. <laughs> this is the plain ban mi han long. I don't smell any dragon fruit, so that's a good sign. All right, break off one piece. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Gong yi do! This does not taste like dragon fruit at all. I thought I would feel taste like a little bit of fruit, but literally it's just bread. Like, I don't taste any Sweetness, no savory, nothing extra. All right, you do get the little like seeds in the middle, but it's like poppy seeds in your bread, so it's not bad, you know? Like, it's good. I like it. It's good. Okay, we are moving on to the second ban mi tan long. Now, it's not ban mi tan long, it's ban mi tan long koi mong. <laughs> That means, if you don't know what Khoi Mong is, I just learned a new Vietnamese word. It means taro. All right, so taro is, in other words, yam. I am one I am. And apparently they have like a taro paste inside and it's supposed to be sweeter than this one. So I'm more excited for this one because I have a sweet tooth. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Whoa. Do a eye. Guys, it is literally the perfect balance of banh mi and khoai mong. Like you don't get like the overly sweetness of the taro. You don't get the overly like dryness of the bread, but it's like that perfect line in between where bread and paste meet to make a baby and you get a bun mi tan lam khoai mong i can eat this for centuries okay so i'm not gonna finish this because your girl's on a diet and thank you once again so much for watching this episode of wong fu where i try ban mi tan lam khoai mong va ban mi khoai lam tan lam lam top i can't speak vietnamese toys home night Không, không được, không nói được tiếng Việt. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Wong Food. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh, you're right. I'm Wong. You're right.